So I'm having a chat with Artyo. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Very, very well. Very warm. Thank Good, you. Yeah, yeah, it's warm. Sunny. Yeah, not tomorrow. It's going to rain. You're going to get wet. Only band in a tent, babe. We'll be fine. You'll, be right. <laughs> You'll get people come and watch you. Yeah. How was today, anyway? It was great, yeah. It was really, really cool. Really nice to be uh, on site, and it's nice and sunny. And loads of people turned up, and it was really fun. And we opened the Kerrang! stage and uh yeah nothing went catastrophically wrong good we had a great little sign in at crash it's been banging nice excellent and uh the big news is that you've released your debut record yeah. for those who've not heard it yet tell us a bit about it um so our debut album is called baby face and it's an 11 track album um and it's just about like i don't know growing up and changing and becoming someone new and allowing your past self to die and it has like trans narrative running through because that's a part of who I am, but it's just kind of accessible to anyone who's changed, which everyone has. So I think there is it is an album for everyone, but it's rooted in the queer and trans experience. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that came out on March first, and we have it on vinyl and CD. We were st- we were signing the vinyl at the Crash Tent. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really cool album to put out and uh, kind of promote it at Slab Dunk, which is sick. Yeah, absolutely. No. What's the plan next for you guys? Once you finish here this weekend, what's next for you guys? Um, so we are touring again. Uh, we've just come off the tour with Honey Revenge, um, and then we're going back out with Mothica in September. We are doing some writing and some other really cool stuff this summer, um, and then we are back out again for autumn and winter. And uh, yeah, that's all I can tell you right now. But yes, so we're back again. We're doing two thousand trees and burn it down as well. Sweet, excellent. And do you uh, hoping to go overseas at some point into Europe, over to the States maybe? Oh, yeah. As soon as we can, as soon as we can. We're just kind of waiting for the right thing to come through because we have, stuff has come through, but it's just been like, it's just not the right opportunity. Yeah. So we're just kind of waiting until that is like, yeah, let's, let's just full send it. So absolutely. Um, we're coming, I promise. Um, but um, that's literally every time we get like, ask us anything, it's like, when are you coming to blank country? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> but no, yeah. So soon, hopefully, definitely in the future. Some point. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Sure. Nice. Um, now, I like to talk about the writing side of things as well. So for you guys, how do tracks normally start off? Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, because, do you want me to hold it? Okay. Because we do everything, like, in-house, all of the production and everything, it'll usually start with Jay or Rob, who are our absent guitarists, will just send us over a riff. I know. <laughs> They'll send us over a riff, and then I can usually just sketch out like a really quick song idea with that, and then we'll give it to the boss to see if they can uh, how it inspires them lyrically and you know with a good narrative, and we kind of just take it from there. There's a lot of stuff that will never end up on getting released, and a lot of stuff that we fall in love with really quickly. But it's just really good to be so hands-on the whole time. Uh, it feels very genuine and authentic whenever we're putting out stuff because it's been with us from the start, basically. It's great. And what about the lyrics side of things? How easy do you find it to put the lyrics to the music that's created? Um, easy as fuck. Uh, well, I mean, like, it's, it's literally all I've done my whole life forever. Like, as long as I can remember as a kid, I was writing, like, shitty little songs. And so, like, for, for me, that's just second nature. Um, I'm constantly coming up with the lyrics, like, just walking around. And I, it's like the way that I write songs is kind of by playing a jigsaw. Of like, I will have constant ideas and stimulus and things and a, and, and a feeling, and I'll write something just like 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 bullet points. And then when it comes to writing a song, I will listen to the song and then I will think of the name of the song, vi- uh, the vibe of the song, and then I will like jigsaw the lyrics that I've already written into the song and then fill it out with other stuff. Um, so I don't know. It, it's all very personal. It's like I do it in a more like detached and absent way. So it's like I write these things as soon as I think them, and then I put them together later. Yeah, nice. Uh, you mentioned trans earlier. We're part of the LGBTQ community. Hell yeah. Do you feel a duty to represent the community in music, and especially this music as well, because there's not too many LGBTQ artists in this genre? I mean, I think I think there's definitely a lot that are like new and up and coming and like deserve a lot more than they have and there are like incredible artists like like Cody Frost and Noah Fins and um, and like people like that that are just like inspirational and really fun but they're also like in their early 20s so it's like they're not getting 
I don't think queer and trans artists get the cred that we deserve as much because of the age. Um, but no, I think, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing what I do and it's a bonus, but I don't want to be like a martyr yeah. and be like, I am I am this. It's like, I am Ray. Ray happens to be non-binary and it's very lovely and blessed that we have a great queer and trans following um, and I do like to express myself authentically which then inspires other people to do it but I'm never like doing it with the purpose of being some kind of thing for a community because I just want to exist and then hopefully that makes other people want to exist as well well said yeah well guys it's been a pleasure having a chat with you so yeah thanks so much, much for having us cheers thank you very much thank you have a good day Bye.